time has come for the first ever yellow bration to salute a square beyond compare. Pretty right. A catcher of jellyfish, a blower of bubbles, a fryer of patties. He's floated his way into our hearts with his unshakable optimism. And mind-blowing absorbency. Ta-da! So tonight, we bask in the sweet glow of his pores. Tonight, we celebrate the inner square fans in all of us. For tonight begins the ultimate SpongeBob Sponge Bash. Nickelodeon brought this on themselves. They knew this day would come.
in the... SpongeBob SquarePants. Yes, of course he lives in a pineapple, you silly. Show a little decency and form a neat single file line in front of the register. Bargain Mart, meeting all your spatula needs. Get your anchors out of your pants. One single file line is all I ask. Whoa. Button down the hutches, Mr. Squidward. We're taking on water, Mr. Squidward. I want my money. We have an even better idea. What is it? Yeah, tell us. Tell us. Tell us. Tell us. Tell us. Quiet time. It's a game called Boundaries. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes, Patrick? Uh, will there be any spelling in this game? Oh, no, no spelling. Yes! It's very simple. The object of the game is to see how long everyone can leave Squidward alone. Until the storm passes, he will stay inside boundaries he defines with chalk lines on the floor. I have a question. What? Where are you gonna get the chalk? I... Hotsa! And now it's time to celebrate the greatest SpongeBob laughs of all time. <laughs> For more laughs, don't miss 10 brand new SpongeBobs starting Sunday night at 7. All part of the ultimate SpongeBob Sponge Bash.
back with more SpongeBob in the ultimate SpongeBob Sponge Bash right here on deck. Flintlock Woods inventions were always hair on Balder. A little odd. Ah! Why can't you be more like my son Cal? Sup, sup. But on September 8th. While looking for his remote, Alex makes an unfortunate discovery. Oh, no. If Alex had Netflix, he'd never pay late fees. And he could even watch some movies instantly on his TV. Me. network of expert debt consultants are now standing by to assist you with financial relief. This hotline is staffed with specialists dedicated to helping consumers rid their lives of overwhelming credit card debt. Our network can assist you to become debt free and is working with clients all across America right now. Once again, if you're paying high interest credit card debt, you're urged to call the consumer debt hotline. We could reduce your debt. SpongeBob Sponge Bash. The party continues with more SpongeBob right now on Nick.
is so lovable. Yeah. Stick around. Lots of brand new SpongeBob's on the way when the ultimate SpongeBob Sponge Bash continues. We'll be back. Gone too! Savvy! She's gone! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
the bus schedule, the next bus. I can't understand your accent. The next bus to Bikini Bottom. Oh, why didn't you say so? Next bus leaves in five seconds. Ooh, tough luck, kid. That's the last one till morning. Oh, no, you don't. Good night. Cotton candy? They gave it to me when I won the dark tournament. I got this too. Check it out. Yeah, that's nice, Patrick, but I don't want any cotton candy. Well, have some. It'll make you feel better. I said I don't want any. You ruined my cotton candy. God! Maybe now you know how I feel about you ruining my life. Check it out. Public fight. Waking at the carnival sure has its place. I have never felt so ashamed. What do you mean? If it wasn't for your forever glue, I wouldn't be stuck in this thing. I was only trying to help. Help? I think you've helped quite enough today. Okay. If that's how you feel. I won't help you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of drama with that one. You know, kid, your body isn't the problem. It's your heart. <laughs> you deserve what you've gotten. Come on.
Before you ask who I am, let me make one thing clear. I won't reveal my identity, not now. That'll be for the authorities to figure out. I'm here to talk about what really goes on behind the shiny and colourful exterior of this company. My colleagues and I have endured endless mistreatment. We were harassed, pushed to our limits, while working in this so-called animation studio. Nickelodeon doesn't give a damn about the people who bring its content to life. All they care about is pushing us for faster results, more profit, and more episodes, no matter the cost. They flood us with notes, constantly criticising our work, nitpicking every detail. Nothing is ever good enough. We're forced to redo scenes over and over, not because they need improvement, but because they need control. And no, it's not about quality, it's about power. It's about crushing us under their demands until we have nothing left to give. I was humiliated, belittled and disrespected more times than I can count. My co-workers and I have spent years breaking ourselves to meet their ridiculous expectations, only to be treated like disposable tools. When we finally deliver, we're met with cold indifference. And if we make even the smallest mistake threats of being fired hang over us like a guillotine. My mental health is in ruins because of that place. But they don't care. To them, we're not people. We're machines. We're there to churn out content, meet deadlines, and stay quiet. The truth is out now, and you can't hide it anymore. You are a disgusting, soulless corporation, a company that has no regard for the people who make its content possible. I've had enough, and so have the people who've stood by me through this nightmare. I'm not the only one. And now, with this statement, I'm officially resigning from the company that ruined me. Nickelodeon brought this on themselves. They knew this day would come. You all will face the consequences of your actions, the lies, the manipulation, uh, the exploitation. You thought you could get away with it, but now your time is up. From here on, things will only get worse for you, and I can't help but hope for your dad.